All right, let's pick some honey for today's today's drink. Hmm. I think I kind of want to go honey. Wildflower. Wildflower might be pretty good. Uh, golden wildflower. Yeah. Ooh, I think, yeah, I think this might be the one. Yes, let's go drink this. Alright, so good times. Let's get that focused in there. Good times bourbon. This is a MGP blend that was finished in toasted honey barrels. So literally honey barrels. I don't think there's any alcohol like barrel, but it's just a honey barrel, so it adds natural honey flavor to it. Um, and so this is a barrel pick by Perdido Liquors. And they put their little cool, it's kind of shiny, so it might be a little bit tough to get a good view of it. But it's uh, Bumblebee with Pooh Bear. <laughs> and Bumblebee the Transformer. With uh, this one, Good Times is a, what they do is they take uh, barrels from MGP, which is usually from Indiana, yeah. Uh, and then from there, what they do is they take those barrels, they age them themselves, they, they finish them, they finish them in different random things. Good Times is pretty no, well known for their uh, barrel picks and having people come in and they, you know, they slap their custom labels on the back. They'll do, they'll finish them in special barrels uh, from other liqueurs to other things. Like this one's a toasted honey barrel. So another one that they do is a uh, banana brandy one, and the, the label for that is uh, kind of like, I think it's like Donkey Kong. It's like Go Bananas or Bananas or It's pretty, pretty cool. I like the, the funny things that they do with these um, the, for the back labels for the custom picks. And then they do a really cool, um, usually do like a cool wax top with a cool design. Like, so this one's toasted honey, so it has like that chocolate and honey looking design there. Um, so... They're always limited rare release. It's really, really, really hard to get a hold of these. They're very unique and worth grabbing um, just for even just that uniqueness and, and kind of having that extra flavor profile added into it because it's not like it's adding artificial flavors. It's just, it's taking the, the barrels from these other liqueurs or other things to add that flavor profile. Like, so this one's the honey and the honey profile is definitely prevalent, but it's not overwhelming. It's not overwhelming. It's not overwhelmingly sweet or overwhelmingly artificial flavor. It actually has a very strong, to me, like if you were to take a honey caramel, but like a real honey caramel from like an old fashioned candy store, that's, that's what this tastes like to me. And it's like a bourbon barrel aged honey caramel. Ooh, that needs to be a candy. Um, but yeah, that's what that, that tastes like to me. So very lovely, um, fun. Definitely try and pick one up if you get the opportunity to. Like I said, very hard to find, very rare unless you're a part of a group that actually does the pit, barrel pick or you know people that do the barrel picks and can get them. Or you, you like this one's a Perdita Liquors out of Florida. I lucked out and found one online, that, their store that was selling them for roughly a little bit over M, uh, MSRP, but you, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. It wasn't horrible though. It was just a tad bit uh, within my $20 range of MSRP for what I would pay. Uh, this was not the easiest thing in the world to get off that... Uh, <laughs> If I can get this to focus here, to get that wax off was not the easiest thing in the world. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Kind of a fun bottle. It's uh, This one's barrel 90, bottle 196, 58% uh, alcohol. And it has a nice color to it, a nice, you know, amber look to it. Uh, the flavor profile is pretty standard MGP, like a good, good, really well blended MGP. There's a little bit of heat with it, like spice uh, and and kick that kind of goes down. But then after your first uh, sip, it's it pretty much is pretty smooth and mellow after that. And the flavor profile is a it's like a honey caramel, but the honey caramel is not like artificial flavor. It's more of like a like a real like a real honey, real caramel, and just put together. So it's a very decadent uh, whiskey in that sense. But it's uh, not overpowering either. So I, when I say decadent, that is actually kind of a strong word. But it's it's definitely there. It's it's prevalent and it's very strong. Most of the things I get out of this are honey. So uh, let's try and make a an old fashioned with this. So I thought that'd be kind of a fun way to utilize this. And we'll uh, pop that open. Actually, I will start with well cocktail glass with ice ball. Not clear, 
I don't do clear ice. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, and it melts, so and I'm not that fancy for this kind of thing. Maybe if I had guests or something, we'd do clear ice, but hey -o, we'll do this. Um, so what I'm going to try, I figured I'd try this, which is a Woodford's Bitters, but it's barrel-aged bitters from Woodford's. And then I'm going to also do a couple dashes. I figured this would be a good kind of bitter to add to the honey to kind of balance it out a little bit. And this is a Black Walnut by Fee Brothers Bitters. So we'll start with the Black Walnut and bring that up. Bloop, 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 bloop. That was about four dashes. Should be a little, hopefully that doesn't spike in the audio, but um, pretty decent amount in there. Um, and then with the Woodford, it actually is a dropper. So we'll get that dropper in there like that. And then we'll bring it over. I might do two of these, but it's kind of a fun, like, little blah, 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 blah. so I might add a little bit more of that just because this is actually pretty good. It has a nice um, uh, spiciness smell to it. And by doing that, it actually made that ice ball a little bit clear. Ooh, now we're getting fancy. All right, and then we'll do some of this lovely good times. Pour that in there. And I'm not doing any simple syrup, so, because um, I figure the honey profile of the, use my finger to stir it, sorry. Super not fancy. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at the color. That color is pretty cool, and you can see just like the the haze in there going on, pretty good. Um, ooh, yeah, that is tasty. The walnut bitters is coming through a little bit stronger than I'd like, so I'm gonna let's see, let's play. You know, I'm just gonna top this off. We'll just make it a we'll just make it a strong pour, and I think that should cover that a little bit better. Get a nice another little finger stir going. Oh yeah, that's better. That's it's got this nice little kick to it. Um, the honey flavor profile is right on the back of the tongue, but the the bitters from the walnut is really nice. It just kind of lingers there and gives just enough of that little bit of bitter kick. Um, but yeah, it's really good. And then the Woodford's is daughter's coming in to say hi. Woodford's um, bitters adds a little bit more spiciness to it, which is really nice. I'm, I'm really digging this. I think there's some pretty good opportunities for different cocktails with this one. Um, the honey isn't overpoweringly honey, but it, it's a long lingering honey. So that's, so I think with some, uh, maybe like a bourbon barrel uh, aged maple syrup, maybe that might be something to help balance out some of the to me, actually, it's almost not sweet enough. It's, it's sweet, but it's not really overpoweringly sweet and I almost want to make it sweeter if that makes sense so with that cheers everybody and uh, thanks for stopping by and, and checking out my little whiskey cocktail for the night uh, this one is a old-fashioned made with good times toasted honey barrel um, toasted honey barrel yeah that's right okay <laughs> uh, I did some few brothers walnut I did some uh, aromatics bitters from Woodford Reserves that are barrel aged and I think personally I might add some maple syrup to this like a bourbon barrel maple syrup that's kind of my go-to for instead of simple syrups I'm not a big fan of the simple syrups I prefer the maple syrup as an alternative but with this I think that that might be the way that might be the play is adding a little barrel aged maple syrup but as is uh, it's pretty tasty but even this just neat is a full-on decadent dessert it's it's one of those not overly powering sweet but more of that you know, almost european chocolate style where it's like it's not overly sugary not overly um decadent but it's just the right amount right where it just it just tastes fantastic so big fan I, i'm actually really digging on this one uh, easy to sip on, easy to, to make cocktails with. I can do it both neat and or uh, in a cocktail. So versatile. So yeah, good times. That's uh, what we're doing. We're having a good time. And that's what this provides. So yeah, on to the next. <laughs> Oh,
Thank you.